Hi everyone, my name is James Reeves from EckhartYoga.com. My speciality teaching on Eckhart Yoga is presenting and talking about and teaching Yoga Nidra. This is a, an ancient form of, we might say, deep surrender into what you already are. So the joy of this practice is that it's pretty effortless. It should be deeply relaxing on its surface level and ultimately it's going to take you into a quality of what I like to describe as being. We all know what it is to, to be, just a bit kind of be resting between gigs, nowhere to go, nothing particularly to do. And as we rest and surrender, we can start to feel this quality of being. There are a few things that we'll do on the journey of Yoga Nidra just to help the mind to start to relax and let go. <clears throat> we could say that in some ways what we're looking to do is swap out thinking for a quality of feeling. So some of the activities, some of the guidances in Yoga Nidra are really designed to start to settle your, your mind down and let you come into presence and therefore into this quality of being. Uh, just a, a brief tour as to how to be comfortable. You can do this practice anyway. It could be sitting in your most comfortable chair at home, lying on your sofa, lying on your bed. Um, lying on the floor is a good option. If you have yoga props and tools around at home and easily available to you, it can be very helpful to have a bolster to put underneath the back of your thighs as a support and um, to have a blanket to rest underneath the back of your head can be really good for a couple of reasons. Firstly, you want your neck to be at a neutral position. So if the blanket's, you know, to exaggerate it, too high, you're going to end up cricking your neck one way. If you have no blanket and uh, you've not done so much movement yoga and your spine isn't really kind of supple and, and in a natural position, you might find yourself here with the, the head tilted back, which is also not so uh, comfy for the neck. So just the, the optimal position and the padding will help take out any sense of hardness through the back of the head into the mat or the floor. And of course you might choose to have a blanket uh, available. Your body temperature will drop a little bit through this practice, so it's likely that you will enjoy having something warm over you so that you don't feel the need to get up halfway through and disturb yourself through the practice. So take a moment, feel free to pause this so that you can settle into either that position that I showed you or your favorite resting point and we'll begin the practice. So as you enter into the spirit we might say of Yoga Nidra, the essence of this practice is one of welcoming. So can you take a few moments, perhaps allowing your eyes to gently close if that feels comfortable for you, just to welcome in firstly the body. Your experience of the body today, maybe that some places feel tense, some places feel good, maybe you don't feel very much at all. But entering into this spirit of really welcoming, just really making a pledge to be with the sensations of your physical self. See if you can give up thinking for a moment and just come into the first-hand feeling of your body. And then the feeling of your breath entering and leaving. See if you can feel how that is acting in the belly or the chest or somewhere else. Really welcoming in the breath. So there's no need for any special breathing. We're really being with the experience of, we might say, being breathed. What it is to allow this natural function to carry on as we pay attention to it. And then opening out your senses, just a moment of welcoming perhaps the sounds around you in the room. 
the atmosphere in the room. And perhaps noticing how the mind often churns around wanting things to be different or worrying about how things will be in the future or how things went in the past. So just an invitation for the mind to enter into this deep quality of welcoming. Just seeing what you can do to just allow everything to be as it is for a few moments. No need to make things better or change things. And as we're in this quality of welcoming, taking a moment just to welcome in sensations inside your mouth. Meet and greet the feeling of the tongue resting somewhere in the mouth. Open to sensations of the insides of the cheeks, on the floor and the roof of the mouth. The feeling of the teeth and gums. And the feeling of the space inside the mouth. The back of the mouth. Inside the throat. Opening to perhaps any tensions living here in the throat. And the sensation of the throat itself. And that attention dividing into the inside of the ears left and right. And beginning to spiral out out and towards the folds and the valleys of the outer ears. Feel the cheeks and the atmosphere of the room, the gentle touch of air upon the cheeks and that same feeling of air passing through the nostrils, through the ring of each nostril, and inside the nose. Welcome the sensation of the nose, the eyes. Again, meeting, greeting any unnecessary tension in the eyes, eyebrows, and forehead. Sense through the top of the head and the back of the head and the back of the neck. Down and into the shoulders and shoulder blades. Arms. And the palms of the hands. See if you can pause and just feel and sense into the palms of the hands. Come back to the throat and sense all of the way down from the throat into the chest. Your attention exploring sensations through the front and sides and back of the chest. Feel the mid torso.
and then sense down into the belly, side waist and lower back. Feel on down into the hips. Sensations flowing between the two hips through the entire pelvis. And streams, currents of sensation from the hips down through the thighs into the forelegs and the feet. Take a moment to put thinking on pause and just come into this felt sense of the body from the mouth all of the way down to the feet. As all these sensations come together, feel how the body is pulsing and alive with sensation. Sense the, the boundary of the body, the skin boundary. And feel then out into the space around it. See if you can give up the concept or the thinking about it. And in your first hand experience, notice where does my body end and the space around me begin. Allow this inquiry to take you out into the felt sense of the atmosphere around you in the room. Into this felt sense of being just here in the moment. A few moments where there's nothing to do, nothing to know, nowhere to go. Just being. And from this place of beingness, you might like to explore how it comes to influence the rest of your day or your day tomorrow. See how this being comes into play in your life, bringing with you a sense of presence and what it is to really have a bit more of a sense of living in the moment. Rest here for as long as you would like to. And if you feel ready to begin to move, you might like to stretch or to bring your knees in towards your chest. And find your own way to transition from where you are now, slowly back into an eyes open, wide awake state, where you can bring this quality of being back into all of the activities that are to come through your life. Stay well and happy. Namaste.